methane gas. Methane is the main component of biogas and natural gas. During oil extraction, billions of cubic meters of methane are simply burned off unused because commercial transportation often does not exist. This is a problem that the Berlin Cluster of Excellence, Unifying Concepts in Catalysis, or UNICAT for short, wants to solve with the help of catalysis. One extremely promising option is the oxidative coupling of methane. Conversion of methane to ethylene is a big challenge. With this process, we would be able uh, to produce an important building block for chemical industry, namely ethylene, from natural gas and biogas. However, to do this, the right catalyst must be found that can prevent methane gas from burning during conversion. To meet this and other challenges, 250 scientists from four universities and two Max Planck Institutes in Berlin and Potsdam have joined forces in UNICAT. 60 of them are researching methane conversion. The calculations required for this are being performed at the Fritz Haber Institute. So we are doing uh, quantum mechanical many-body calculations to get an idea what is the structure, what is the reactivity and the properties of surfaces and at the end we want to understand how the uh, reactions at these surfaces under realistic conditions may occur. Next door in the large experimentation hall, the scientists are analyzing catalysts with lasers. A sample like this is placed in the apparatus and examined spectroscopically. This means that the catalyst is irradiated with light, of which the wavelength can be changed to measure the properties of the material. We are not investigating the full catalyst, which is rather complex, just only a small fraction of it. The spectroscopy that we do allows to uh, get information about the, the electronic and geometrical structure, but also provides information uh, to the theoreticians for testing the theoretical models. This basic research can then be used for the synthesis of new catalytically active materials. Because UNICAT also produces catalysts, this begins on a small scale in the laboratory and can progress to the production of kilograms of catalysts that are particularly promising. The efficiency of the catalysts is tested at the Technical University of Berlin. The methane gas is conducted through a reactor pipe like this one that is full of the catalyst. The application of pressure and heat leads to a reaction and ethylene is produced. In this reactor system we can test potential catalysts for their potential in this coupling reaction. We have to test the catalysts before we use them on a larger scale for their stability, for their activity and especially for the selectivity. For industrial application, the increase in quantities, also known as the scale-up is particularly important. For this reason, another UNICAT team has built this chemical experimentation unit, or mini-plant. A very important aspect is the scale-up. We have designed a plant that we will be able in the future to make this scale-up from millimeter in diameter, for example, to meters in the real plant. We will generate the results to make cost calculation to give answers in the direction of an economic real process to produce ethylene for methane. The construction and operation of the mini plant receives support from industry. The cluster is in the perfect position to successfully meet the major challenges it has chosen itself thanks to its competent partners. Here Innovative reactors are designed and built. Beforehand, simulations are carried out in order to learn how the catalytic reactions occur in a variety of reactor types. Can you turn now the flow to 1000? Okay, try 3000 now. 
The gas mixtures that leave the reactor are separated in the plant in order to obtain high purity ethylene. The aim is to develop a plant that provides the highest possible ethylene quality and yield. To achieve this aim, the researchers in the UNICAT network have brought their concerted efforts together. UNICAT was founded with the aim of better harnessing energy sources and raw materials with the help of catalysts.